Final thoughts now. The political coup d'etat. President Trump is the victim of this attack on his constitutionally mandated job, along with 65 million Americans who voted for him. And the Democrat leadership in the House is the political faction that is carrying out this highly weaponized and hyper-constitutional effort to degrade and or destroy the 45th president of the United States and the will of the people. Never, never in our history have we seen a political party so blindly partisan that it is willing to cheapen a solemn constitutional process in order to gain political advantage. But that is exactly what is happening here. This is a coup. There's no guillotine. There's no blood. There's no revolution or rioting in the streets, at least not yet. No, instead of guns and knives and torches, the Democrats are using subpoenas and hearings in the mainstream media to achieve their goal of making sure that a Democrat president is installed in the White House on January 20, 2021. Yes, Saul Alinsky would be proud. After all, this is his model, imposing a radical anti-constitutional ideology on the American people by taking over and abusing the existing framework, our government, as a means to an end. It's Alinsky. So Jerry Nadler, Adam Schiff, Nancy Pelosi have traded the hammer and sickle for fancy suits and well-shined shoes. However, it's no less a radical overthrow of a duly elected sitting president. And it's being foisted upon the American people by a political party that is so hooked on power, so consumed by a desire to have total control of government, that it is willing to destroy a president and the will of the people to achieve its goal of a modern day political coup d'etat. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.